Hey guys, welcome back to Better Than Yourself. I was just about to pour myself another glass of coconut water, and I thought, I know how I can make this better. I can ferment it. Fermented coconut water. There's a little bit of sugar in coconut water, um, just enough to ferment and make a nice um, tart carbonated beverage with uh, some probiotics in it. And super easy to make. Um, once you get your culture going, you can do like a, a continuous process like you do your kombucha. You can do it with uh, coconut water. Let me show you. So just like we can make our own kombucha by basically buying a bottle of kombucha and making some tea in a fermenting container, what I'm going to do is build up a little scoby in my jar so that I can make a probiotic drink using something cheap like coconut water instead of buying these for, I don't know, five bucks. So process is super simple. All you really want to do is uh, look for uh, your coconut water, not from concentrate, right? And um, all natural, but really um, read the label. You know, you really want to double check. This says 100% coconut water on it. It says shake well on it, but ingredients, coconut water. You know, there's no sodium bisulfate in it. There's no, um, you know, whatever they put into it. Guar gum, I don't know. I've seen some weird stuff in some, some of these beverages. So read the labels. Read, you know, you want all natural, 100% coconut water. I'm happy doing just the, uh, the stuff in the Tetra Pack here. And you hurry it along. So for this, uh, for this starter, we're going to do a quart of coconut water. I'm going to do a quarter cup of sugar, it's just to kind of give those babies a little kickstart. And then pick out a flavor of this that seems kind of innocuous. I found this is um, lime coconut, lime mint coconut, mojito. So I've been drinking these. They're not bad. Um, I don't mind a little residual mojito flavor in my in my fermented coconut water. And then so we've got our coconut water, we've got our sugar to feed the probiotics, and we're just gonna give this a little stir. And uh, just drop a cap on to keep the, keep the dust out, but not too tight. From here, we're going to keep this at about 85 degrees. Um, something that I found is really nice is a seed mat. Here, let me show you where I keep my, my ferments. So over here on another counter, just sort of out of the way, I can do uh, a seed starting mat. And this is, I've got a link to them below. They're about 20 bucks. What they do is raise the ambient temperature about 10 degrees. So I don't know, what's it, 72 degrees in here? So it makes it 82 degrees. And it makes a nice gentle heat to really give your, your ferments a kickstart. Things that like a little bit warmer ferment, like uh, yeast, things with yeast in them. And I found that my coconut water really gets a good start sitting on the seed mat. So really think about picking up a seed mat if you want to ferment coconut water. All right, so what you need to do is just let's let this jar sit here for about two weeks. Get a really good uh, colony of, of probiotics established in this jar. And then I'll show you what the next steps are. So I showed you how to make this. Now let me show you what a, a live one looks like. This has been going for, oh, two or three weeks. And you can see that I uh, got the uh, start of a nice little uh, coconut scoby here which is just like your, your kombucha, just like, you know, you've got a little cellulose mat forming. And then your uh, fermented product is down here. So, scooch him off to the side. Usually it takes about, depending on temperature again, it takes three to four days, maybe sometimes a week if it's really cool in your place. Um, it's a, been a little cool in here the past couple of days, so this really isn't too bubbly. But it tastes great. What you can... Uh, when you make it smell it, and mine smells like uh, lime mojito because of the culture that I use, I still get that taste a little bit. But should smell, um, you know, like almost like your your um your ginger ale did the uh, the ginger bug that we made, um, a little bit of yeasty smell to it, and then that you know that sour smell that we're used to with the ferments and the the homemade probiotics. But this is delicious. This um. Is, is quite tart. I like I said, I you know make a lot of this stuff really quite tart because I like to make sure that the, the the residual sugar is gone out of it. I really don't want to be ingesting a lot of sugar with this. But you can let it go one two weeks. Just leave it out on the counter when you're ready to have a drink. Pour some over ice and they're delicious. The other thing you can do is if you is if you save your kombucha bottles and you can literally just grab a funnel and fill these and cap them up and leave these over on the seed mat and let them get um, carbonated. Sometimes it helps if you add about like this much sugar to each bottle as you cap them. 
um, give it a little shake and then put them over on the seed mat or someplace warm where they can continue to ferment. In beer bottling, that's called priming sugar. In making carbonated beverages like this, it's called second ferment sugar. Uh, same thing. It's it really, it's just going to kind of kickstarts your, your SCOBY a little bit. That's, you know, your living probiotic in these bottles, feeds them, and they give off a lot of carbon dioxide and carbonate your beverage. Um, day or two, uh, warm on the counter, and then pop them right in the fridge, and they're awesome. You, you're going to want to experiment this. Yeah, this is a glass bottle. Too much sugar, too warm temperature. Yes, it will explode. It'll probably break the cap, probably blow the bottom out, but you've got a live grenade in the house. So don't leave these sitting around. Um, you know, if, you, if they're sitting out fermenting, make sure that you uh, get them into the fridge if you've got these lids on tight. And then finally, to refill, you, you want to make another batch? I usually like to keep about, oh, I don't know, maybe 20% in the bottom of the jar and then just go ahead and, and fill it up with another liter of coconut water and um, put the top on and put it back on the seed mat and keep it warm, give it a couple of days. If you make it and you don't get a chance to drink it, stash it in the fridge. It keep, it'll keep for a couple of weeks in the fridge. Um, again, keep the lid just a little loose because it will, it will give off carbon dioxide. The, um, this particular product is made with Bacillus coagulans, which is a unique probiotic. It's kind of new on the scene. It, people like it because it's, um, it reproduces not like usual bacteria that, you know, split and that whole meiosis, mitosis thing. Uh, Bacillus coagulans actually produces a spore. It makes a seed. Um, well, it makes tens of thousands of seeds, but <laughs> it puts off these seeds. And the thing about these seeds are these spores, they're little time capsules that are, they're indestructible. They can withstand the high, high temperatures, freezing, boiling, um, you know, being dried out, um, you know, left in the sun for years on end, which is why viruses really, you know, kind of can come back with a vengeance. They're hard to kill. But they, they reproduce by spores. And so does Bacillus coagulans. And we're making this, and we're making, you know, a whole bunch of Bacillus coagulans spores. So this is a super um, probiotic drink because think of what's happening here is the way that these things are reproducing is creating these spores, these indestructible seeds, which pass through your stomach, pass through the, the acid in your stomach, and actually can get into your colon where they can begin to reproduce. And actually, you know, with a lot of the, you know, taking, eating yogurt and a lot of the fermented foods, is those bacteria can't survive the trip through the stomach. They don't, they're dead by the time they get to your belly where you want them. So with a spore-based probiotic that you now have a really easy way to make, thanks to Better Done Yourself, you're, you're going to get those probiotics where you need them, in, in, in the gut. So try this. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. And remember, if, if you're enjoying these videos, share them with your friends on Facebook. Share them, you know, uh, with your Twitter account. Share them however you, however you like. But, you know, get the word out, and I'll continue to make more of these videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.